Hey, thanks for the question. Yeah, I've stayed away from the Carvana conversation on here intentionally, uh, but um, I did want to address it a little bit. So, you know, the question is uh, what might happen with Carvana flooding the used car market if they go bankrupt? Well, when you say flooding, you got to do some easy math, right? So Carvana sells about 450,000 cars a year. The United States as a whole sells about 40 million used cars a year. So they equate to about 1% of the total retail sales in, in the United States. Um, to sell 450,000 cars a year, I would imagine their business model probably uh, allows them to keep a 60-day supply of inventory. So you know they probably purchase 900,000 cars a year to sell 450. Um, so if you do the math and say that they're no longer a buyer in the market and all these cars are out here now, you know, 900,000 cars divided by, you know, 50 states, uh, what's that come to? Roughly around 18,000 cars per state per year that would now be available. Um, if you break that down by, by monthly, you know, 18,000 cars, you're talking about 1,500 cars a month uh, per state that would now be in the market that Carvana would no longer be a uh, potential suitor to purchase. That's not really a lot of cars. You know, we're just going to buy those cars. I mean, it's not like it's going to be such a surplus that, you know, cars are going to go for next to nothing now. Um, so if Carvana goes bankrupt and out of business, and you know, keep in mind, those are two different things. Bankrupt doesn't necessarily mean out of business, although in the retail segment, uh, the public, you know, sentiment would be so negative that they probably would end up going out of business. Um, you know, but if they do that, I mean, it's not going to, you know, we're not going to see a big flood of cars all of a sudden and cars are going to be pennies on the dollars. It's just not that big of an amount. You know, you're talking about 1,500 cars a month available per state um, that Carvana would normally buy. Um, so it, it's it's not as impactful as people think. Um, you know, I think if anything is going to flood the used car market and drive prices down for consumers, it's these repossessions. The repossession rate is going to be uh, atrocious in 2023 because of all these, you know, dealers who, who saw an opportunity to take advantage of customers and, and charge, you know, 5000 $10,000 more than the cards were worth. Um, and now these people are in a terrible equity position on their auto loans. So, um, you know, they are, they're paying seven, $800 payments. So you're going to see the repo rate go up. And I think that's going to have a bigger impact than uh, the Carvana's 1% of the retail market going away should they you know, should they uh, dissolve or whatever. So, um, you know, I think repossessions could impact it more. But I, I don't I don't wish any ill will on the Garcias or Carvana. I hate to see any business go sideways, um, you know, especially for the, all the employees that work there and feed their families. But um, is it going to have a huge impact? I don't think so.